Hi, I'm Ed Reyes with Master Builders here in Tampa, Florida. On behalf of Expert Village, I'm going to teach you the proper use of an electric scroll saw. Now, when you're cutting wood with this machine, it's going to, it's going to send out dust. And you don't want the dust coming up. So this machine is devised with two different units, a top and a lower unit. This top unit has a tube that comes out. And what happens is the, 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 the dust that is accumulated through here comes out this little tube. You also have an exhaust here for the dust that is accumulated from the bottom. Now, the, major the reason this is smaller is because, obviously, the majority of the dust is going to go to the lower part of the machine and is expelled out through this section right here. If you've ever seen anybody cutting with this, they'll blow on it while they're cutting. Well, that's what this tube does, so you don't have to blow on it. It'll, it automatically draws that dust out from where you're cutting and expels it out the back. Uh, it's very small. You can barely see it. But you will see the dust around your cut being pulled in. The majority of the dust that is being pulled down into the bottom of the machine gets taken and expelled out this area here, which is about a one-inch opening. Um, depending on how much you cut, you're not going to see a lot of debris from this machine because it's a fine instrument and it cuts very fine pieces of wood. You'll notice this is how they use to make uh, insignias, signs, names. Uh, you can cut all different angles. Uh, the best thing about this little tube is that you, if you have a pencil mark on your wood, you can, you'll, you'll continually be able to see that mark because it'll be drawing that dust away from you. Um, the best thing about this unit down on the bottom is that it will draw the, the dust out this way, keeping it from accumulating on the motor.